Let's talk about how efficient it is to use an endo flame and an exo flame to power a furnace. I've been wondering this for some time, so I set this little experiment up. I'm going to use a single piece of coal to feed into an endo flame. That endo flame is going to produce mana into the mana spreader, which will feed the mana pool, which will uh, be drawn power from the exo flame to power this furnace. So I've tossed in my coal, and we're going to take a look at how the furnace is doing. The furnace has been preloaded with 64 cobblestone, which will cook in a smooth stone. Now, as you probably know, one piece of coal directly into a furnace will cook eight cobblestone into eight smooth stone. Let's go ahead and see how that coal does when it's fed through the flowers. I've got the video on fast forward, and as you can see, I get seven. I've done this experiment a few times. Sometimes I get seven, sometimes I get six. So as you can see, it's not worth using the coal through this setup. Um, it's actually less efficient than just using it directly. Of course, the big advantage is being able to use the uh, alternate mana sources, such as uh, the Nightshades and Daybloom, for mana generation to power the furnace. Happy Minecrafting!